I look rough. A lot of people are mad at Steven's hair. Sorry I haven't had a haircut in two months. Oh my gosh, you haven't, babe. Set up an appointment right now. I'm texting her right now. I just texted his hair cutter. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. So today we wanted to address our last video before moving on to our regular upbeat uh, prank videos and whatnot. It is actually March 14th when we're filming this and we are posting it March 14th just because we definitely think we need to address it before just moving on. Getting back into the swing of things. Yeah, because I know you guys are gonna have a lot of questions and wanting to know about it and whatnot. Basically, if you don't know what we're talking about, we just posted a video, us taking our first pregnancy test because I was a week late on my period and I was feeling very nauseous and we figured I might be pregnant. So we took the pregnancy test and it was negative, but I did start my period yesterday because a lot of people were saying, make sure to take a pregnancy test in another week because it might've been too early. And then I guess the digital kind that we used are actually not as accurate as the kind that show lines. So really? um, that's what people were commenting. I don't know. I didn't know that. I don't know much about pregnancy tests. I don't know much about pregnancy, honestly, because obviously I've never been pregnant before. And so this is all new to me and I was very grateful for all the information that you guys were commenting. So apparently it might've been too early to know and people were saying I probably should have taken multiple tests because it could have been a false negative, but I did start my period. So I guess I'm not pregnant. Um, it must've been just the stress that I've been under for the last month, you guys. It has been very stressful over here. But I did start my period and we just kind of wanted to talk about how we were sad about seeing the not pregnant, although we are not actively trying for a child at all right now. Um, we do want children, right? Yes. We do want children. Right now we kind of just want to enjoy the married life and we are still pretty young. Um, I think we're thinking in two years to have a child. The number keeps on getting lower. No. Two years, babe. I will be 25. You'll be 23. No, hey. I don't want three years. We'll talk about it. No, because you have to kind of think about it. <laughs> First off, some people it takes a long time to try. So what if we start in two years and we don't even get pregnant for another three? It's and true. then plus the nine months on top of that. Like we have to kind of like factor all that stuff yeah. in. So maybe we should start now. No. <laughs> just kidding. No. Um, like I said, we do just want to enjoy the married life right now. And we like being able to just run to the grocery store and not have to worry about loading up a child. Or we do like going on vacations and not have to worry about childcare. I would say we are pretty mature for our age, but at the same time, I don't think so. I couldn't imagine just like having a kid right now. Yeah. I mean, obviously we would be very good parents if we did end up I mean, having a kid. I think we would. Yeah. But. And I honestly, I say this to everyone, I feel like my calling in life is to be a mom. I honestly feel that way. So I'm very excited for the day that we are expecting. But yeah, seeing that negative pregnancy test was actually kind of sad. I was like, oh. Even though- We were like looking forward to something and it like, I don't know, it's weird because like obviously we want kids. We don't want a kid right now, but if it came about like, yeah, I would be excited. Mia. That's our kid crying right now. Everything come out okay? <laughs> what? What's the matter? She was going potty. Are you okay? <laughs> no? What is she doing? I don't know. You okay? <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. I guess we'll hear for throw up or something. Anyway, sorry guys, our child is disrupting the video. So yes, we were very, I don't know, disappointed, but at the same time relieved, which is kind of sad, but if we were pregnant, we would be so grateful oh, and yeah. ecstatic and who knows, it could happen next month, but we don't know. And we would be just as excited if it did happen next month. But what I was gonna say was seeing that negative, like I know I said this in the video, but it really like, upset me thinking about all the people who are actively trying for years and each time they get a negative pregnancy test. Like, I can't imagine that. Like, I was upset the day that we took that and I wasn't even trying. That was our first. Yeah, like I wasn't even trying and I was still like, 
Oh, like, that is so sad. Do you have anything you want to say? I think you already said what I needed to say. It was just like, <laughs> just upset. It was, it was weird. Like, I was kind of expecting it to be positive. I mean, I was. Really? And I was excited, because like, what if we were pregnant? Like, that's like a whole new chapter to our life. And then it was like, negative. It was kind of like a, it wasn't relieving. I know, I don't wanna, I feel bad saying that, because there are people out there who definitely like, getting that is not relieving at all. But in our circumstance, at the moment, it was kind of like, okay. Yeah, it, it's like a weird feeling. It was, we're relieved, but we're not. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people were saying they were so sad and disappointed. Start trying now. I <laughs> like, we're not, we're really, like, I, if the time came, we would be ready. We would prepare and whatnot. But as of right now in our marriage and relationship, we're not ready. We just bought a house and we're, we're enjoying that while we can. I just upgraded my craft room and I already said that the moment that a child comes, that craft room is destroyed, <laughs> so. so. you're choosing a craft room over a kid. As of right now, yes, I'm <laughs> selfish. I, I'm very selfish, and like I said earlier, I don't know if I said the word selfish, but we like going on vacations and stuff, and once a child comes in, that's gonna change. It's gonna be way more difficult just to even go to the grocery store. It's, it's not a bad thing. No, not at all, and we'll be at that point of our life where we've already traveled enough, and where we've felt like we've had enough time to assess it. <laughs> that's just how we're feeling. A lot of people are commenting like, go ahead and have a kid now. It's, that's a lot. That is like commitment, dude. We're not ready. Yeah. But if it was like thrown in our plate, obviously we would, we would handle it. We'd tackle the situation. Mm-hmm. And we would be thrilled. We'd come up on top. Yeah. I know this is probably just like us going in circles and whatnot. I was kind of last minute because we were going to post a video today and I was like, that just kind of doesn't. Yeah go with what we were just posted and i feel like that would have been weird if we just kind of like left it at that and said yep like if people are like i wonder if she started her period blah, blah, blah. Yeah. so Definitely i did we needed an update yeah i did as you can tell i'm not feeling too great um but that was like the weirdest kiss ever that was our first kiss just then <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, we're gonna go. We're being too silly right now, and um, we have stuff to do today. We got work. We got to clean up. We got a lot of stuff. All right, we're gonna leave. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for being on this journey with us. When the time comes, we'll let you guys know. I guess Madeline will let me know first, and then we'll let you guys know. Well, family. And, and then, then family, yeah, and then you guys. <laughs> There's a whole like little ladder and it'll be over a course of a couple months before you guys know. Yeah. But um, yeah, we're just very thankful for you guys being a part of our life and actually caring about this kind of stuff. And um, we want to include you as much as possible in everything that we're doing. Because you guys, we wouldn't be where we are without you guys when we consider you guys family. So thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for sticking around with us through this, all of the stuff that we've gone through for the past four years. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. So with that being said, we hope you guys are having a great day or night or whenever you're watching this video. And we hope to see you guys in our next one. Bye guys. <laughs> Bye guys.